kitchen at the end of our game because we find uh, Chef Samir uh, this time he is going to do a four course menu. menu. So, what do you recommend uh, four course menu today? Uh, I recommend for four course menu is start as a prawn cocktail. Yeah. And uh, then after oh oh like choice. You will have choice. choice. You will have a choice. Prawn uh, cocktail or egg mayonnaise. Egg mayonnaise. So you have selected. What is ingredients you want? Yeah, huh? yeah. Okay, basically yes, uh, peppers. peppers, red pepper, mushroom. yellow pepper, mushrooms, boil uh, egg, mayonnaise and the crispy vegetable. Crispy. Julian cut vegetable, uh, throw the ice uh, ice cubes and get the crispy. Yeah, you should get crispy. Uh, then lettuce, and parsley, prawns. Boil. Yeah. Boil prawns. Yeah. Uh, and olive. Yeah. Olives. Green olive, yeah. black olive, uh, cap, uh, this one is a Tabasco sauce. Tabasco. Uh, it's a caper. Uh, and last week vinegar. Vinegar, basic vinegar and, vinegars, and, and olive, oil. olive oil. Olive oil. Right. Keep your eyes. All the is now ready for this. Start with the uh, egg bionics. So, first we cut the eggs. So he is removing the white yellow part of it. Only the white they are going to use. Okay, now he is going to make the cocktail sauce. We have the boiled yellow part of egg with little mayonnaise that he is going to mash it and mix it together. A little bit of salt and pepper. You can see it's nicely mixed. Chill, because uh, when you do appetizers always should have the chill glass because this uh, vegetable should be equally chill when it is served. So you can see the chill on his menu. Okay, thank you. The third you can use, but the welcome is using this way because the SAP is like so he has arranged the reduce now the crispy vegetable in the middle. Then we have red, red. So what he is going to do is now when the vegetable is there. Okay, now he is going to fill the egg. Now you have the white egg shell is there, he is cutting the tree. Now he is going to fill what he has made with the mayonnaise and egg yolk. Boiled egg yolk. to fill inside the cook. Okay, you arrange on top of the vegetable. That's right. And bit of parsley on the side. Then again, he's going to fill another two egg shells are there. White egg shells. Again, you fill with your egg mixture. You have to be very smart because do not overthrow, do not go away from the egg and very neatly you have to arrange on bed of vegetable. So you can see he is going to do the next filling also. You can have a small pick of garlic dal, parsley as a garnish. The 
method of filling you can see he is going to do a nice uh, barrel shape of egg so always because don't just uh, put on the eggs like uh, not in a style it has to be very stylish way to do this and and again is garnish with a pick of parsley on there Now as a garnish, we will have black olives. Is it, chef? Yeah. Black olives. Yeah, black olives. Oh, yeah. Because the color combination is very important for us. Because it's an appetizer we call it. So appetizer that the guest is served it should be very. Pleasant and good looking uh, because our today uh, serving course also is a four course menu. So let's see the rest later. And now we have done the egg mines. Uh, next preparation is going to be a prawn cocktail. So he has boiled prawns. When we have mayonnaise, we are going to make cocktail. Cocktail we make usually mayonnaise plus tomato sauce and salt pepper you can add it then again we have the uh, dry uh, what you call crispy vegetable again to fill up the glass so please make the cocktail sauce first not using too much I got Then he is going to do the. We have clean prawns already. We keep for one for garnish, and these are clean prawns. So do it whatever. Right, now the welcome has done the prawn filling, so you'll have some more salads and then you pour the uh, cocktail sauce. Now he has done the mayonnaise, the uh, mayonnaise should be running consistency, then only you can pour in the any dish. Garnish with black olive with a pick of parsley. Now he's going to do the cocktail filling into the egg mayonnaise. Uh, 
not too much just pour it over the things nice nice look and because not too much mayonnaise in there because you have already mayonnaise in the fish here like mixtures or just a bit of to get taste is yeah. it chef yeah. right thank you so this is how the two appetizers is done so you can see how it comes out garlic and onion as potatoes right first i put the carrot and potatoes yeah. oh and also we need some mushroom mushroom what mushroom is there We will have some just boiling water. No? Yeah. We don't use any stuff. So you can use uh, vegetable stuff. No. You can use yeah. it if you have time. But even with the water, it can be done. Yeah. So, chef, some area that we are going to do two soups. Yeah. The one is uh, vegetable broth. Next one is egg and corn soup. Egg and corn soup. You have a choice of uh, two soups always in your menu. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's very good. And two appetizers already. So let's see what is going to be more important. Huh? Okay. 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 Cabbage. Cabbage, yeah. Yeah. And just boil it for a while. Yeah. We cook it. Yeah. And then we boil it. And we have broth soup. We have broth. We have vegetable broth. Yeah. For broth, we usually use cooked white rice. Small little bit. Just. Just a bit of white rice to so give the broth. Yeah. Uh, and then I rinse yeah. everything in the broth. Then add it to flakes. That's a garnish and color. And color. So you can see the color of the uh, broth. Yeah, yeah. So Green this color. is really uh, clear broth. We can see. And no artificial flavor is done. It's completely pure vegetarian. Yeah. Pure vegetarian. Nice job. Thank you, sir. Okay. Now your next soup is, as you can see, the clear vegetable soup. Put it on the bowl. So we can when we so we can bring it and serve on a soup bowl. That's how. Because why we use the white bowl? To show you how it done. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. That is good. Okay. Very good. Very good. Sir. Very good. Sir. Uh, added the garlic and onion after the boiled chicken as well. And we will have the chicken stir fry. And then we will have chicken sweet, chicken and sweet stock. Stock. Okay. Into the. Good smell. Good smell. Yeah. 
So it's nice soup. You see? Very good. Chicken and sweet corn soup. That's it. Chicken and sweet corn soup. So that's, uh, that's the way to make it. And it has come out well. With egg broth? Yes. You see very, nice. very nice. Very nice. Very thickness. Soup. This is Chinese soup. Yeah. Also Chinese is like. Sri Lankan also like for this soup. Anywhere in the world. Yeah. yeah. Anywhere in the world. We cannot specify the viewers, but we will like it. Yes. Yes. What are the spices you What you can use is the whole thing, you can find it in the market and keep it on the stove, pan and have, add some margarine to melt it. Okay? Now it has season half an hour, the chicken. Chicken. Half an hour, now it is going to fill it on this surface. So, it's nicely done, the chicken breast. We will say butterfly. 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 It's called chicken butterfly. We have to see whether the chicken is doing good and then we turn upside down as well. No? On our side. Right. Again you cover. Chicken is steam coming out then that means the already the chicken is cooking. Almost cooking, almost it should be enough. So it should be cooked, no? Yes. So you can see the nice color coming in. Yeah. If, you, if you have a grill, you can do it on a grill. Yeah. So that is normally. But we use this one today because we are doing a small amount. So for that, maybe one main course, this will be okay. As you can see, the color is coming up. And also the chicken is getting tender. Tender means getting cooked well. So, still a bit of water. Huh? Yeah. Alright. Chicken open to make it the color and the food. That is it. You can see a nice color has come. No burnt color. Yes. Golden brown. How about the other side? Boil vegetable already we have done in julienne style. We have some tin mushroom too. And we have the butter, butter and the added. Added. And then you toss this dish for boiled vegetables. It's a company of main course chicken. Salt. Yeah. Boil the potatoes, well done cooked, then you mash it with the masher 
how by hand and we will have added with some butter and milk no milk yeah. bit of milk you like cheese you can have it please. yeah so we will have some, some parsley yeah this is the way that we need it for mashed potato for the main course main no? course right very good so we arrange some boiled vegetable arrange on the middle of the dish we have the mashed potatoes make as a slightly conical type you put two into this is yeah. it right good or you can use scoop if you have that also can be done ice cream scoop yes small one you can use it for the same way but we are using two spoons because it's common how the press is nicely done and the next one also how is it here very good and then we have the garnish as well yes. Chicken. Chicken. Chicken with 
mushroom value base sauce. Okay? Okay. Add some salt, pepper into this. Not too much. Now the sauce is done. So you can now go cool and let it cool until we serve. Okay? Separately on a soup spoon, a ceramic type sauce bowl, small sauce bowl. Because some people, if they don't like to use sauce, we keep it on separate. That's just the idea. It's very really good. So, I can see it's a beautiful preparation, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank it's you. It's very good. I'm very appetizing mode. I feel like eating now, <laughs> also. That is velute, no? Yes, Chef. Velute with mushroom. Uh, mushroom. So that's the final of it. And more varnishes coming up. That's spaghetti, no? Right yeah, spaghetti. See a nice chicken served with velute sauce, vegetable, and mashed potato. This will be good. Friends. So, the spaghetti already boiling in the hot water, you all know. We'll have the salt and hot water here. And we will add some olive oil. Not to get sticky. We have the bacon, mushroom, and cream sauce spaghetti. Special for the bacon, like bacon. More than people like bacon, is no world. I will prepare the Melody sauce, then after the mix, bacon and mushrooms. The boiling at least 10 to 20 minutes should boil this until the spaghetti is tender. So still they are cooking. We will leave it for a while. Melody sauce is done. Now that is for the spaghetti. We are cooking spaghetti. So, spaghetti with bacon velute sauce on next dish. Yes, yes. Then we have the grill and cook nicely done and then you mix it velute. And mix it together. Freely available, we can add some white wine into this. If somebody, somebody likes to make give you a very good smell and the taste, but usually we are doing without that, and it's a nice sauce for this spaghetti. Very good taste. It's a smooth sauce now. Very nice sauce. It should not thick. It should not thick. Yes. Okay, so we cook it a little bit more. Spaghetti. It's nicely smooth spaghetti. As we can see, the chef has done a very good job. Okay. Garnish with parsley. Parsley. And oh, this is already done. Also, uh, we can, uh, Chef Samir has spoke to me, said, if you have some grated cheese, you can add it. Uh, it's preferably, Parmesan cheese is the best for this. So, if you can, if you are able to do it, you can do it. Uh, I suggest, not only the Parmesan cheese, the cheddar, gouda, anything you can, but you have to grate it and put it on the dish and mix it together. Very good. He's going to do the banana fritter. Banana fritter is made by, we have to make the fritter batter sauce. Is it? Eggs and flour and little bit of milk. No salt pepper this because it's going to be sweet. You can cut, uh, what do you call, bananas in any, either way. But he has cut it in triangulars today. So nice dessert. It's a hot dessert, I can say. Let's see how it comes.
can see. Yes? Right, now it's going to be a nice fritter batter. Banana fritter. Banana, this batter can be used for pineapple. Yes. And uh, what? Banana. Bananas, pineapple. Mango. Mango and apples. Yes. Yeah. Right, good. These banana fritters. Chef is arranged how to serve. You serve with honey, is it? Honey and, and uh, ice creams. Honey and ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream is the best, no? Right, we are ready to serve. Huh? Yes. It's a nice dessert. We can see how beautiful that is, and it's fantastic. I can see. Okay, this is a four-course menu that uh, the, our chef has done. Then this is the layout for the. Uh, for the dishes that what we make so we start the starter and the soup and the main course so we have choice of main course choice of soup and this is it. How was the cocktail? Wow, very good. I see a nice taste of it. A nice presentation. Yes, and the taste. Very good. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Well, and uh, you will uh, we'll see your next. Okay, I'll come. Uh, some more serve. I think there's soup coming in. Yes. There's some infos coming in. Yes, Chef. Let will see. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, very good. We have the 
spaghetti yes, with bacon with yes like. yes and the velveta sauce sauce it's very nice with ice cream yes. and the honey taste honey yeah very good and also the frita yes, batter is very good crispy very crispy very good i would like to speak to chef today yes, sir. can you sit please here thank you sir thank you and uh, we have the front of his executive also with us okay uh, i think uh, it's a very good uh, atmosphere in this hotel and also see the surrounding it's good as well uh, candlelight dinner it's very special in a dinner because people like to yeah. always people are sitting inside a uh, busy world so when you have like this setup it's good for a more to us at fresh yeah so we need to is coming in yes okay so you all have to do this in for Is that. Whatever it is, we got to serve the same style, and it's very delicious. The guy, the man, has got the gama. Long way travel here to meet Chef Samir and Points. So I should thank Samir and the staff and the directors. Of the so thank you very much, and we'll make a, another trip. So what do you say about our? uh staying here with you uh, chef uh, first of all uh, thank you sir chef and uh, kitchen of dadigama team from the win shaya yes our uh thank you for again yeah everyone subscribe the uh, kitchen of dadigama give me the subscribe everyone in world thank you sir. Okay, so I should thank you, yes, and and uh, we make another day again visit here and do more videos with young crowd here. Yes. And I said I want to everybody and thank you very much. Okay. Also, uh, Kijana Dadi Gama doing something always different. So we would like the people who can subscribe my channel. If you do it, I do more better videos in future. So thank you very much for all my fans who has done my channel became very popular. Thank you very much and say goodbye.